Okay guys, it's Les Cubes here, and today we're going to kick off a new series, I guess perhaps my first series. Today we're going to play Close Combat Last Stand Arnhem. Um, I've been a long time war gamer, uh, mostly on the historical side. I never really got into stuff like uh, Command and Conquer or StarCraft or any of the sci-fi uh, uh, real-time strategy games, uh, although I did do a bit of sci-fi tabletop. That's a different story. Uh, Close Combat's one of my... Well, it's not one of my... It is my favorite strategy game. It is my favorite real-time strategy game. Uh, it's a wonderful top-down, sprite-based, um, company-level real-time strategy, and it's all fire and maneuver. There is no you know none of the lame base building things or any resource gathering obviously it, it's very gritty it's very realistic as realistic as sprites can be um yeah so last town arnhem tells a story of uh operation market garden uh, and uh for this series we're gonna try out the English operation or the the United Kingdom operation because all the nations of the UK were involved in it at Arnhem uh, the first uh, British uh, British Airborne will be heavily outgunned heavily outnumbered so this is my rule set uh, both myself and the German player, which will be AI, uh, will are on green difficulty, and that primarily affects, I believe it actually only affects the force pool. This means we'll get pretty good force pools, pretty good levels of reinforcements and ammunition, that kind of thing. Uh, I've ticked always obey orders on for my men. Uh, this is because a lot of the paratroopers mission is going to be rushing fixed positions that are very dangerous uh, this may be a mistake uh, it may not be realistic I think it's probably the right choice for what we're doing here um, the other rules are we've ticked off when force morale gets too low because that can kind of shift things weird ways you can actually be winning but your morale's so low that you've lost which you know, makes sense but it it breaks the flow of the game uh, time limits 20 minutes that's uh, mostly a consideration for episodes some things are going to run shorter than that so uh, and after taking all victory locations I doubt I'll rarely if ever actually meet that requirement so let's jump in and uh, go over the briefings Arnhem is the ultimate goal of Operation Market Garden securing its two bridges across the lower Rhine is the responsibility of the British First Airborne success here is the key for victory your primary landing zone is west of Arnhem near Oosterbeck. The second battalion will spearhead an assault to secure the main bridgehead. The remaining battalions will secure the landing zone and move to support the troops at the bridge. If all goes according to plan, 30 Corps is scheduled to link up with you in the next two to four days. As the troops deepest in enemy territory, airborne resupply is your only means of support until they arrive. All right. That's the situation. This is our written briefing. The first lift of the British 1st Airborne Division has landed in good order and everything is proceeding according to plan. 1st Parachute Brigade is on their way to the main objective, the Arnhem Bridge. 1st Air Landing has moved to secure the drop zones for the second lift, due tomorrow at 1300 hours. 4th Parachute will land in the second lift on Ginkle and Rankham Heath. 
Once the second lift has landed, all elements of the division will form a perimeter around Arnhem. 30 Corps, which is the English uh, armored unit, uh, is scheduled to receive uh, relieve us in two to four days. Now, 30 Corps, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. They're starting down here at Vulcansvard, and they have to cross the Sunbridge, Odin Road, Vigil, Grav, Blankenberg or Hattert, and Nijmegen before they they've got a lot of ground to cover and things have to go perfectly. Uh, if you're familiar with the history of this uh, particular operation you know that that wasn't necessarily the case. So my disposition right now as I butcher my words Ginkle and Rankham Heath, these are my drop zones for the second landing due in tomorrow. It's midday, 1500 hours, thir uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, rather. Um, first air landing is holding uh, Ginkle and the South, uh, South Staffordshire Brigade is holding uh, Rankham Heath. Uh, these guys are mostly glider pilots, if I remember right. The tip of the spear here is 2nd Battalion of the 1st Para. They are unopposed here in south of Oosterbeek. They're going to move to Arnhem Rail. Whereas 1st Para has been ambushed by Kampfgruppe Kraft here at Wolfies on the Wolfies Uchtrecht Road. I'm sorry if there's any Dutch speakers here. Uh, I'm butchering your language. So we're going to go ahead and drop in on our first skirmish. Uh, and it'll be here at the Arnhem Rail Bridge. This is one of our objectives. However, it's very unlikely that we'll be able to get to it. As the map says, the Arnhem Rail Bridge is an important secondary objective of the market plan. Market being the airborne part of Market Garden. Second para is to secure the bridge on the way into Arnhem. Although it would be difficult to secure and hold, the bridge does provide us with an alternative to the main road bridge in Arnhem itself. Take advantage of what little cover there is and do your best. If the rail bridge is destroyed, push on to Arnhem with all speed. My plan here is to not fully commit. Um, the enemy should be, the enemy is quite weak. And we can actually see that by clicking on their battle group. This is a Boden Standage Einheit. I probably completely mispronounced that. This is a basically a guard unit detailed to guard the bridge. You can see they have two Luftwaffe uh, two centimeter flak. That's twenty millimeter auto cannons. That's some pretty heavy stuff. Otherwise, it's it's two Ersatz, uh rifle squads, a MG42 team, a regular infantry squad, and a uh, command unit. These 20 mics or 20 mic mics are extremely dangerous to infantry, uh, as well as this uh, Lichtes uh, machine and Gouverneur 42. Um, the rifle teams themselves are obviously a threat as well but nowhere near those heavy weapons so let's get into it um, normally historically you would not be able to ta tailor your battle group uh, as I am doing here you'd, you'd have options on like your weapons platoon but not on your infantry because they were kinda you know they had a set pattern of what they would use uh, in this case, however, we're going to go ahead and take uh, take advantage of the Royal Engineers uh, with us. So that gives me uh, Royal Engineer Bren and uh, Rifle Team. They carry uh, explosives that uh, should be useful for us. 
Uh, all my teams have have uh, fairly heavy weapons. Uh, the problem with the pairs is they don't have much ammo. Don't have much supply either. Okay. So, as you can see here, uh, I have a pretty limited... The map's quite large, but I have a pretty limited area with which to work in. Keep in mind, this is also during the day, and it's completely open. So, yeah, that's fantastic. So, my goal here, my basic plan is we can't cross this field. At least not right off, right? So we need to get to this embankment where the rail bridge you know starts here and get mid-span as quickly as possible but we do not want to waste a great deal of men doing that so my plan such as it is is to get this Bren team, this rifle team, and lodged in here to provide some kind of cover to maneuver into this stand of trees between these two streams. Um, I suspect he, he being the Germans, will put uh, units in here. This is good cover and it's got control of my area. I don't know where he's going to stick his uh, 20 millimeters. I believe one of them, one or more of them, both of them, might actually be fixed in place. Uh, if not, he could he could place them anywhere. Um, they're very vulnerable if you put them out in the open. Uh, the guns, it's not in a turret; it just has a shield. So you know, the gun crews are quite. Uh, quite susceptible to rifle fire but you don't really want to take the risk we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get all these guys moving this way and they gotta go fast that's there's no no fooling on that one uh, where's my Royal Engineers yeah they're there these guys they yeah, there's not much cover here, but they just got to chill. They're going to get eyes out that way, and uh, hopefully... Well, we know the enemy didn't have any mortars, so they can't do too much damage to me uh, in that term. But, uh, yeah, this Vickers team, he's going to hang out up here. His job, once we've got through this building with our rifle elements is to set up in here so he can provide cover fire both against this area and the bridge span. span. Uh, I guess that's it. We're going to go ahead and kick it off and uh, hope for the best. Alright, we're not taking initial fire yet. Sometimes it takes a minute. Normally, I wouldn't expect the enemy to... Well, oh, he did set up there. That's a bad spot. So... These teams are hurt already. Oh, uh, we gotta get on this. We can't screw around here, though. He's not doing good. He's already lost two men on that gun. We've got near Sots team down here that's taking some heat. They're they're not doing so good. Alright, that flak's down. We can move. Let's get this Vickers right up in here. Friend group, move. Platoon HQ move. We need these rifle uh, this rifle team here to defend. Because they took some heat. They lost their squad lead and one of the other guys. I'm not 
If his MG42 was over here, they'd be firing. He might be ambushing in here. That's what I would do, I think. Alright. What do I do? Alright, we gotta move these guys, I think. Uh, now you see I'm using the move fast command. That may be a mistake. Uh, the mental fatigue's uh, much quicker that way, but uh, it also means they yeah, they get into contact quicker, quicker, get into cover quicker. Once we've established that there's nothing in this trench or this uh, stream bed here, we can we can move these guys up. I have a feeling as soon as I get looking towards this bridge he's he's not gonna let me have it uh, the many times I've played this before I, I've only taken this bridge twice maybe at least legitimately there every once in a while you'll get a weird bug and it'll it'll pan out better for you but that's not normal In position. now my mortar team's just kind of chilling out here He's got to have enemy in here, but he's not hes not playing his cards, if that's the case. I kind of want to sneak him up here. Now, this is all pretty much flat ground here. The only cover is this river bank or the stream bank. There's just not much. I believe this is actually irrigation ditches for these fields. Um, gosh, do I move these guys? Let's let's move this rifle team. See if we can't get them in this little trench here. If not, they'll draw fire, and then we'll be able to figure out where it's coming from and uh, fix it. Now, if the enemy's smart. He's got his other 20 millimeter set up somewhere where he can rake the bridge should I get my men on it. That's what I would expect. Now, historically, the Germans blew this bridge up and Second, uh, second brigade did not expend very much effort on this uh, this objective. I'm not even. It's been a while since I've read a bridge too far, and I don't recall the specifics. But I want to say they didn't even like fight here. They made contact with the Germans, and the Germans just blew the bridge up because they just they didn't they didn't want to expend the effort. Move to hold it. Um, certainly, moving rail traffic in uh, northern Europe in the uh, late summer of 1944 was not the easiest thing to do in the world. The uh, the RAF and the uh, United States Army Air Force were making life difficult for the uh, the rail guys. He's not in here. These guys would, unless we have a massively disciplined team, he's just not in there. All right, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. Let's get everybody in these stream beds. These guys can kind of cover. You'd assume. If he had a team up on the bridge, they'd have decent fire. Like, they can see this is a very tall point. We're 20 meters off the ground, whereas the elevation in the fields is only 4. Cover up here is very poor, but it is a commanding position. And then this is all low ground here. This in position. dirt road is raised. Okay. 
I haven't had a chance to use that mortar yet. Very strange that he didn't put anyone in here. You would normally expect them to uh, uh, take a care of, you know, take kind of some kind of advantage of the ability to ambush through here because he, you know, I have to come through here. There's no, there's no other way besides charging across an open field Move completed. without any cover. These guys are chilling out. We're gonna set them down that way because I don't see any enemy. Now it would be clever for him to set a team somewhere hidden down here. But getting them to hold fire when I'm so close would be quite the trick. And then, you know, movement here, I intend to do it by bounding. Uh, that might not be the right choice. We have limited time. Uh, gosh, I don't know if I can get to this bridge. Getting, getting to the bridge gives me a massive advantage as far as moving forward. Uh, but it's not large enough that I want to waste good teams on doing it. I'm going awful slow here though. Awful, awful slow. Now this mortar can reach pretty much anywhere that I might take fire from but accurate fire may be too much to ask he can also put smoke out but uh, yeah so far I've lost it looks like uh, just a couple men so we're doing pretty good here Anyways, these guys are moving in. These guys are apparently running around in circles. I'm not really sure. In position. Got ten and a half minutes left. Once they're at the bridge, they can't stop. They're going to, but they can't. It's not beneficial for that to be the case. Now I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work, but I want to say that there's actually like a staircase here. And they can get on the bridge, but I don't recall. <sighs> Getting that Vickers up there would be nice too. Hopefully they'll be able to do some damage from there. This tree is a pain in the ass, and I have half a mind to have them cut it down, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, obviously, I, I have been playing these uh, a very long time, the close combat games, so I kind of I can read the terrain even if it's you know not super obvious. But you can I'm right clicking right now, and it'll show down in the corner what what the elevation is and what the 
what the terrain, what the cover is, that kind of thing. Move completed. All right. Can you get on the bridge? Let's find out. Because there should be... Like, I don't think there's actually an extension there, or whatever you call the... those. But there might be. Well, he's working his way up there. Redeployed. So... Let's move down here, quickly. Very quickly. Oh, he's taking MG42 fire. Where is it from, though? Down here? Well, if he's got his MG42 team staked out there like idiots, then we're not we're not going to deal with that. We're not going to we're not going to worry about it. The question then would be, where's his other uh, flak? Okay, can these guys get up there from there? Put them on move fast. That they'll, they'll figure it out quick. Doesn't look like it. Got a team there. I need you over here. Now, if he wants to blow the bridge, he's going to have to do it with a rifle team directly on it. Does he want to give him up? I suppose I suppose him denying What's oh, a Zook troop? That's his command element. I need to get somewhere these guys can actually shoot at him. It's essential that we we get that out. Can these rifles get on him? The bridge supports are something of a problem. Get some kind of suppression out there. A lot of suppression there. Let's go with haste. I would try to drop mortars on there, but it's real long shot about him hitting down there. I will put him on that riverbank, though. That's a dumb place for him to have set up. There's no freaking way he's going to let me have this. Lost a man there. Come on. We lost a commander there. But that Zoog troop can't hold up to... He can kill my platoon HQ, but he can't hold up to two whole squads. They're done. They're done. Area secured. 
Tally oh man. Get to the south span. There's an airsoft team down here. We gotta kind of suppress or something. We can't do a whole, whole lot, but we can try. They're a little freaked out about it, that's for sure. There's no way. There's no way this is going to work. We're going to shift our HE fire down here. Put it on. Try and put it on the bridge. There's no freaking way. Okay, we got the flak here. That's going to be a problem. But we've got the bridge. In position. All right, guys, just kind of tidy up here. Get away from the edge of the bridge, for Christ's sake! Don't let them, don't let them shoot you up with that 20 millimeter. Move completed. Good hit. Good hit on those guys. We're in business here. All right. There's a grenadier team. We gotta. He can't make it anywhere in that time, so we're just we're gonna let him try. We're gonna let him try. This airsoft team is surrendered here. Get fire out that way. If we can't kill that AA team. That would be nice. These guys are suppressed pretty good. These guys are taking a pounding from that 20 millimeter though. My mortar's gone to ammo saver mode because he's only got four rounds. I keep telling him to, he will drop an HE in there. Yeah. Just did that to cancel it. It's pretty ineffective fire, it looks like. Not only 18 seconds. So we've successfully captured the uh, Arnhem Rail Bridge, so we're already doing better than we were historically. We took some losses doing it, but... Uh, we did it. Alright, so that's our first episode of Close Combat Last Stand Arnhem. Go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the tallies here. The enemy lost 8 killed in action, 10 wounded, 3 men were taken prisoner, they lost 1 gun, 5 of my men were killed, and 6 were wounded. I think I can take that. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good overview, or pretty good, uh, good lop there. Um, we'll have to come back here and clean out the south bank. I don't know how s deployment's going to work. He might be able to deploy back up here and cause me some trouble. But uh, we'll find out. He won't have many men left. So yeah, we're going to call that an episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy. hope this is a uh, good, worthwhile endeavor for me. But I really enjoy playing this game, so I hope you enjoy watching it. Okay, bye.